Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. Today's ball is... Mint. It's mint. It is called mint. In a margarita. Mint Wizard Pro we are using today. James is an alcoholic again, using a margarita as an example. I would have gone with toothpaste or... Mintero. Mintero, yeah. So, so far, a three-piece ball, urethane cover, coming in around about £30 to £35. Yeah, 39 euros, we, we see on the website. We so. can buy in bulk a great alignment aid on James's channel he was very impressed with it so what we're going to do is we're going to test it against the premium ball today so I am going to use in this episode a Pro V1 as well as the mint so we're going to hit two shots each Chris hasn't told me we're doing that so I'll get a Pro V1 as well out of my bag. <laughs> James needs a provisional one so we're going to see how it reacts into the green here so we're going to hit a fuller shot into the green and we're going to take our worst ball for the match so I am currently one up but we're going to take the worst ball for the match I've got an AVX Chris Oh, a low spinning ball. Yeah. So I want to see here if it hits the green, is it going to spin as much as a Pro V1 with the same kind of contact around the edge of the green? Maybe we won't get as much spin, but we need to know with our wedges, with the scoring shots, if we'll get the same amount of control. So I've got a 56 here. I'm going to go Pro V first, actually. I'll name that first. It's a great strike. So good contact. Landed pin high stopped pretty quick so it's just on the fringe there but it has stopped very quick there I'd say that stopped within a couple of yards yeah which is what we'd expect from here so now with a mint can we get the same launch conditions can we get the same kind of control so again, higher so immediately higher yep higher landing on the green same longer oh it's come wow well it's unheard of a little bit of backspin there, so launched high, but it did have some backspin and it stopped exactly where it I landed. I can't believe how much spin that's had on it, to be fair. No, me too. A bit, again, a little bit more probably than the Pro V1. Is I mean, that you something... did hit the green with that, but it does help. Well, that's true, but is that what you'd want I've got 56 as well. This is the AVX. I've been playing with these a little bit and been finding good results. So, good contact there. That's at it. Straight at it. Lander just short, ran on. It is the closest, but we are taking the worst ball. Oh, I've got to do that again then, have I? So you've got to repeat. Oh, leading so far. But again, launched exactly how we'd, uh, how we'd expect. Will this launch higher? Yes. Launch is higher. Kicking. It has landed short as well, took a bigger bounce. You know what? Both of those have kind of one big kick and then some then spin. Stop. I think you can put that down to probably the ball striking. Um, I do feel like that was quite exceptional, something you don't see often on this channel, but it's not my channel and people keep reminding me of that, so we'll see you down at the green. Yeah, back in your box, back in your <laughs> box. Quite a good array of shots there, really. Yeah, so good contact. And so when testing a golf ball, it's good to get a similar strike around the edge of the green. It's hard to always get it. And realistically, for spin and spin control, we want to be testing it from your your longer irons or your longer wedge shots and maybe even up to 150 yards because that's where you're going to be hitting it on or at a green hopefully and trying to see how it stops does it bound on does it run on or does it stop and this is a three-piece ball like a pro v1 so is it going to react like it i think so far yeah and interestingly i think a lot of people when testing golf balls often just primarily look at the numbers look at driver numbers does it spin in the window i want it to does it go yeah. further than the ball i use when really, he's two or three yards going to... I've known people choose a ball because it goes two or three yards further, which yeah. is quite ridiculous to think that you think you're that consistent, because I know I'm not. No, and that's it. And you've got to think there for the price point of what we're going to save, sacrificing a couple of yards, but maybe saving nearly £15, maybe £20 a dozen. Is that going to benefit you more? So we've got three balls here exactly flag high looking at them. So that's uh, quite good. Chris, is, are you taking the one you missed the green with? Uh, I think this one's actually the furthest away, although it's been back, so unfortunately we're back to all square. Right, back to all square, so James, you're going to lead us off here, 45 yard shot, so again, one of those awkward distances where we don't know whether it's going to spin or not, so club? 50, 50. which surprises you, doesn't it? It's probably surprised all of you, but try and land it probably 30, 35 yards in that window and then... <laughs> It's into the wind down uphill, so it should check. I've got the AVX first. So very good flight. 
Tried speed. to spin it, just didn't really do it, did it? No, and that's what, again, a lot of people find with the AVX. You get a less spin off your longer stuff, but around the greens, it's a little bit harder to judge, but... All right, it's mint. It's the mint. I think this will probably go in higher. All right. Yep, so straight off the bat, it did go higher. It has chased through a little bit, so James's worst one is off the green just. Yeah, not, not great there. Probably uh, thinking about using my 56 instead of instead of the 50, but... All right, I'm going to go 50 as well. Let's go mint first. Again, probably land it I love that alignment aid, it's so blunt. So blunt? Or bold? Bold, like you. Like myself. Blunt and bold. Oh, so launch very low. Oh, that grabbed as well. Grabbed a lot, so relatively new grooves on these ping wedges, so that has quickly spun up. So you can get a spin, I mean, it's a terrible shot. We can see that we can get a lot more spin, so unfortunately James might have won this one as well. Ah, that's nice. That's lovely. So better motion there. A little bit more swing there, so the Pro V did do better, but we can see we can generate a lot of spin on that ball from such a short distance. So we're going to finish with just a little bit of a short bump and run around the edge of the green off the fringe. Can we get it to check? Right, title eye, let's see if we can get some spin. I'm going to go mint first. Try and get this checking up. Oh. Oh, you know, I thought that would have been loaded with spin, the strike you gave it. Yeah, the strike was good there. Didn't get as much grip as we'd have thought. So, Pro V now, similar motion. Well, same motion, hopefully. Ooh. Certainly spun more. Yeah, very similar there, spin. Not my finest performance today with the short game. I've got lob wedge, Chris. I'm going back to my roots, back to what I know. James is going to try and get plenty of spin on this. Which ball first? AVX first. AVX. Oh. Okay, just landing angle, just bit up, had a bit of spin on there. Probably down to the wrong club, you'd say. I would say that, yes, James. So that was the mint, and again, that felt quite good. It was centred just a little bit, maybe high on the face. But again, it's two not bad shots. I think they are quite comparable. I think, what do you think for the price? Yeah, I think for the price point, they are... You're basically saving a ten or a dozen, aren't you? At Maybe least. more. Yeah, at, at least, least ten yeah. pounds a dozen. We're getting the same kind of reaction. We saw into the green from the longer shots. I got a little bit of backspin in around the greens. It was certainly checking up with a good strike. You're going to get checked. So it's going to do exactly what you're expecting from a three-piece ball. So very similar to a Pro V1, saving your money. Maybe not as much as a Kirkland, but it's something that oh, you, you might can't use. say that. I can't say that. But guys, if you're looking for a golf ball, the Mint golf ball price-wise is very good. It is very comparable to the Pro V1. <coughs> so numbers-wise, very close. So uh, have a look for those guys, see if you can save some money. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again later in the week.